Okay, so we're still busy with center of mass. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to look at the velocity. We've, we've kind of basically discussed the position of the center of mass, but now we want to look at the velocity of the center of mass. And we will see that this is actually quite remarkable, the velocity of the center of mass. Um, but the first thing actually is we need to see that the velocity of the center of mass is actually the same as the velocity of the zero momentum reference frame. The zero momentum, the velocity of the zero momentum reference frame is the same as the velocity of the center of mass. Okay, I'm not going to go into all the details of this. Um, there are quite a number of videos on this already. But the point is this. If you have Again, if you've got these two objects, A and B, we know from the previous uh, sections, previous videos, that there is something called the center of mass. And it is a point that you can balance the system on, and it is as if all this mass is concentrated there. Okay? So, if we have an isolated system, um, and say now A is going at 2 meters per second, and B is going at, say, minus one meter per second, and say they're both one kilogram, one kilogram, okay? How do we calculate our zero momentum reference frame or our, uh, sorry, the velocity of the zero momentum reference frame or the velocity of the center of mass? Right, we've done it many times. We know it, it's, it is the system momentum, system momentum divided by the system inertia. Okay, so let's do a simple example here. So what is the velocity of the zero momentum reference frame, which is the velocity of the center of mass? It is ma va, and I must put a vector there because we choose right as positive, plus mbvb over ma plus mb. Is that correct? Okay. Email me if I've made a mistake. So what is this? What is the mass of A? It's 1. What's the velocity of A? It's plus 2. So we'll put a 2 in there. What's the mass of B? 1. The velocity of B is minus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, so now we get 2. This is 2. Minus 1 is 1 divided by 2, so we'll see that this is 0.5 meters per second. So the, the velocity of the, the zero momentum reference frame, which is the velocity of the center of mass, is 0.5. Okay? So what does this mean? It means that in the system of multiple bodies with different, with, with masses or inertias, I need to say, and different velocities and coming at each other and then colliding and moving away from each other. Remember, it's an isolated system. At all times, because it's an isolated system, did I mention it's an isolated system? At all times, the velocity of the center of mass is going at a constant half a meter per second in this case. So these these. Um, two objects are, are, are moving toward each other. They collide. Okay. A and B, they collide. And if it's an elastic collision, then they might start moving in opposite directions again. Okay. So, but it's, it's isolated. It's an isolated, it's an isolated collision. And in all, all these interactions, the center of mass is just going at a constant velocity in this dire in that direction. So these objects move toward each other, and as they're moving toward each other, the center of mass, which is this position in space, is just moving at 0.5 the whole time. The whole time, it is just moving at a constant velocity. I really hope you see that. I've I've got some pictures off the internet. If you, if you take a ball or some kind of projectile 
and you shoot it, we know that the projectile motion follows this kind of motion, right? It follows this motion. Okay? Now what happens if at a certain point this projectile explodes into two pieces? Okay? So there it's, it's one piece, it's one piece, it's one piece, one piece. Then suddenly over there, it explodes into two pieces. The one piece starts moving in that direction. The other piece starts moving in that direction. But there is a center of mass that does not change its position or, or its motion. It does not change its motion. Because it's an isolated system, right? It's an isolated system. In the same way, there's a center of mass. Its velocity remains constant in an isolated system. Okay? In the same way, the center of mass here will just follow its, its path that it, that it would have, it was following all along. Although these, these objects break off into different directions the center of mass does the velocity of the center of mass remains constant now look at look at this here's a baseball bat remember what was the definition of the center of mass it is a point on an object as if all the mass is concentrated at that point so if this guy he takes a baseball bat and he throws it and as you can see it's rotating right it's 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 going it's rotating like this but the center of mass follows a projectile motion. Okay? So it is as if all the mass of this uh, baseball bat was concentrated there, and then it follows a pro the projectile motion. Guys, this is a very important concept to get. I hope you get it. It will really help you uh, in the rest of your engineering studies. Okay, cheers.